poisonous mushroom, Amanita. And I'll show you what the base looks like. I'm not sure if you can see it. It has almost like a little pouch that the stalk comes in from. But yeah, and the scales on top. There you go. I'm not sure if you can see it. There's the scales. That's a mushroom you do not want to pick. Are you coming? Okay, guys, I want you to listen really closely. We're on our walk. We found chanterelles yesterday. But listen closely. Doesn't it sound like Negan from The Walking Dead is out here? Where's Negan? Oh, they stopped. They must have found them. <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> All right, guys. We're on the Canadian Trail. Right, Erica, the Trans-Canadian Trail? Yeah. Yesterday, we walked. There we go. We're calling Negan. And we're walking. There's bikes coming back and forth. It's early in the morning. Not that early. It's 9 o'clock. But at least... It's not as hot as it's going to get because we're going through a big heat wave. There's my Chi-Chi, my beautiful daughter. She always does that. Look what we found. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Look at this. I don't want to step on them. Okay, guys. There's and look, leaves. and look what we have here. I am, and look. How many my daughter is holding already? It's a good day for us. Chanterelles, chanterelles. Oh my God, I don't want to step on it. Because the rate, look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh my goodness. Look what we have. I don't know where to start. I'm going to start right here. Look at this, you're stepping on them. Guys. I'm trying not to step on them. <laughs> My God, look at this. <sighs> see, I said I want to see a medal. Oh, we got a medal. Beautiful chanterelles. I cannot believe what we just found here. You have Erica. Mm -hmm. They're everywhere. Okay, guys, I'm gonna we find some more. I just want to show you. Look at the size of these. Look, and I'm probably stepping on them too. Yes, you are. Where's the bag? Okay, guys, I'll see you in a bit. Well, Erica. We found. I'm not kidding you. How many pounds is that, Erica? So far, two pounds, maybe? oh, more than two pounds, all in one spot. About two pounds of beautiful golden chanterelles. No, it's a leaf. I, I know. What's that's not a chanterelle. That's a that's no, that's a mushroom there, but it's not. Oh, that one. Yeah. Yeah. So we are excited, and I have a feeling we're gonna find more. Right, Erica? Mm -hmm. Here, this is the marker, here. This mm -hmm. is our marker, and there's the chanterelles. No, we're still There's some chanterelles here, but they're very small. There's some here, look. And you gotta, sometimes you gotta lift to find it. I'm just gonna pull out my knife. And there's one right here, beautiful chanterelle, and believe it or not, these are the only mushrooms that the bugs don't get to. We found more on the other side, but I'm sure we're going to find more. There's a baby one here. Just pinch it off. Oh, came up with the root. So we've got a few more chanterelles. 
there's some over there. You are right, Erica? There's one right there, you see it? Yeah. And if you look down, sometimes you just find more. I want to show you my pretty knife I bought myself. See it? Isn't that nice? There's one there. Not as much as last time. Or that other spot. Well, we found a good spot. Yeah. Over there. I'll just walk further down and see if there's anything else and then cross over. So, yeah, we're happy. Let's see the bag, Erica. Show the bag so far how much we've got. Look at that. That's a lot of chanterelles, guys. I'm a happy person. And if you've never had chanterelles, it's a must, guys. You really have to try them. They are one of the most delicious mushrooms ever. There's the bolites. Those are pretty, pretty damn good, too. And this is free food. Now, if I would have had to buy that, that would have been almost $100 worth of chanterelles. And this is our day today. Yes? Oh my, here's some more. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the size of those. Yes. Got it? I just closed my knife. Look at that. Wow, that's a beauty. Over here, Erica, look. These are heavy. I know. Jesus. There it is. Yeah, I'm wearing jeans, not a good idea. You want me to cut it? No, I'm just saying that today, like, wearing jeans was not a good idea. I know. Idea. Well, you had an appointment. I can't see the... I don't want to cut too... Don't break them. Leave the baby one. Yeah, beautiful. Look at the size of them. There's that one there. Sometimes you gotta dig really deep. So there must be more. We have to look. There's probably more in the back there. Yeah, we have to look. For sure. You got your bag? Are you going in? These pine leaves are like biting me. I see them. Just looking out. They're here, but these are babies. So. Yeah. I took some babies, but we should leave some of them. I'm being, I'm being a hog. I shouldn't do that. Oh, that I thought it was. Did not see. That's what we see. No. Okay, if we find another big patch, guys, I'm going to show you how magnificent they look. Staring up at us. Oh, Erica, right there. Here. Not a big patch, oh. but there's some right there. I bet there's some up further up too. We're finding them everywhere today. This is good. How you doing down there? You got him? Yeah. Um, there's the bag. I think I'm going to pull out another small bag. Beautiful. These chanterelles are beautiful. Here, hold on to this. I'm going to pull out another bag. Okay, guys. Eric? For people that don't know where we are, we're, we're at a place called Le Petit Train de Nord. And it is the old train track that they turned it into the Trans-Canada Trail where people can bike or hike and move from one place to another. So you could just keep going on this trail and it'll just keep taking you across Canada. Across Canada. So that's where we are. And we've been on the road now how long, Erica? Over an hour? An hour and a half? We've been walking for about an hour and a half, and we've already found like about, I'd say a good $80 worth 
of chanterelles, if not more. That was a lot of chanterelles we found. They're heavy. The big ones are heavy. Yeah. And they're very meaty. So for someone who's vegan, like myself and my family, uh, this is a type of mushroom that when you cook it and bite it, it has a nice, firm, meaty texture. Uh, I have a feeling we should go pull it up a little more for some reason. Or are you too tired? I only hiked the mountain yesterday. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to uh, bang it. In. Okay, let's go to the gate and back, okay? Alright guys, so if we find something else, we'll show you. For whoever needs to go. Isn't that cool, guys? They have these all along the pathway. My daughter is dying. She was hiking yesterday, so she's a little drained. And she's trying to stay away from the sun. Anything here? Getting hot, eh? What kind of mushroom was it that you saw? Which ones, Erica? Huh? Which ones? And if you're looking for chanterelle, guys, you have to look around pine trees where the soil has been disturbed. And sometimes you got to look even under the moss because they're hiding. If you see one popping its head, even look under the moss. Right, Erica? Mm See any bullets? So odd because there's all these holes. Yeah. You see them? Yeah. Like why? Chanterelle, Chanterelle, where are you, Chanterelle? Maybe if we sing to them, they'll pop out. So if you see any, did you spot something? Yeah. What is it? Let me see. Oh, look, there's I've one seen there. The, yeah, I've seen these in the book. Yeah. With the feathered back like that. Yeah, look over there. Oh, look, it's turning blue. Is that... Is it turning blue? I can't tell. No, that's just... These are the... the uh, uh, no. Hexagonal yeah, polypore right here. You see it? Okay, well, here, take this. Is it? That's... It's 
getting blue, is it not? Or is it just me? No, it's not blue. Yeah, it's staining brown or blue or whatever. No, these are good, I but think. They're hexagonal poured polypores. Yeah, we're going to have to look these up. See you around. It's a new mushroom guy. Guys, like to see it? We're going to have to do a little homework on these ones. Is there any more? Oh, look, right there. You see it? Yeah. They're beautiful. Like, they're, they're nice and clean and everything. You could actually, they say you could take a piece of the mushroom, chew it for like 10 seconds, and then spit it out. And that'll also tell you a little bit of the characteristics of the mushroom, right? Mm -hmm. If it's bitter or if it's sweet. It's a good mushroom day. What you think? Okay, you think it's a good mushroom day? Is it a bad idea to put your hand in it? Well, we don't have vicious snakes here. Well, I don't think anything's going to come out of the boat here. Okay, guys, if I see anything exciting, I shall let you know. Okay, so we're back at the house, guys. Look at our find today. Do you see what we found? This is over three pounds, if not four pounds, of beautiful chanterelles that we found on our mushroom hunt today. And some of them, look at the size of these things, they weigh a ton. So there you go guys, a beautiful day for us. Not only did we do a good workout, we walked for over three hours. And uh, on our way, and on our way home, we found chanterelles. So, there you go guys. Hope you like this video. And guess what? I'll see you in the next one. For more videos like this, make sure to subscribe to Connie's Rawsome Kitchen. Give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends.